How's it going, guys? Happy Tuesday. So you can talk, talk by the title of the video. Uh, I'm recording this at 12.30, so NASCAR actually haven't done their press conference yet. Um, but they're not very good at keeping secrets. So uh, basically, everyone kind of knows what is going to be announced. Uh, NASCAR is returning to Chicago, but it's going to be a street race. I think I've made one... Oh, I'm sorry, microphone. I think I've made one video um, about this, uh, but I don't, I don't really remember it. Uh, it. This has been rumored for a long time. We knew it was coming. Um, it's going to be the first ever street race that NASCAR has ever had. Uh, my dog has his paw on my foot. But yeah, it, let me know what you think in the comments below. We're going to talk about it today. I'll give my opinions. Um, I think it's actually a really fascinating discussion because, um, yeah, let me know what you think down below. I'm going to say what I think the overall consensus is via social media, via your guys' comments, replies on my Twitter, and overall what I'm seeing. It's, it's kind of mixed. But I think I know why. I, I don't think, um, you know, the whole idea of having a street race in Chicago, it, it's not bad. It's not, you know, people aren't really upset with that idea. It's the consequences and the repercussions for other events or other tracks or, you know, stuff like that. Missed opportunities in the same city slash state. You know, that's kind of why people are annoyed. Uh, I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members for always supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you guys so much as always. Um, and let's, uh, let's talk about it. So NASCAR, uh, in about, you know, by the time I upload this, it'll probably be about like an hour. Uh, at 3.30, you're going to, going to announce that there's going to be a Chicago street race. Uh, they'll probably reveal the layout and everything. And, you know, the layout to me doesn't really matter. We kind of know what the layout's going to be like. Street race, we kind of know what it's going to be like. We know, and, and to be fair, a street race for NASCAR is something I've always been intrigued in. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you, I want NASCAR to do many things uh, similar to what Formula One are doing. Uh, and they're doing it right. They're getting that 18 to 49 demographic age group. Um, they're doing a terrific job with their social media, digital media, everything. I just, I just love what Formula One's doing. And so I am the first one to blatantly say I, I want NASCAR to copy a lot of the things Formula One is doing. Now, going to st a street race is something NASCAR has never done, and it is definitely something that resembles open wheel racing. I'm not just going to say Formula One because IndyCar have a lot of street races as well. And so uh, this is something that I think stock cars on a street course is really cool. This is my opinion. I've never seen it before. And I think it's just something that I want to see. I am fully on board with the idea. I'm fully on board with the location. Because if you're going to do a street race, it has to be in a big market. I'm thinking Los Angeles. I'm thinking, yeah, Chicago is a big market. I'm thinking New York. I'm th you know, stuff like that. It has to be in a big market. It can't be like in Kansas or it can't be like in Utah or it can't be in Georgia. It's just not a big enough market, right? It has to be in a big market. A Miami a, a New York, a Los Angeles, a Chicago, which is uh, even like a Dallas, Texas. That, that's where it has to be. So Chicago's the, the obvious answer here. I'm fully on board with it. Let me know what you think. I'm fully on board with the idea of a street race. So I want to make that very clear. And I think 70 to 80% of you guys, you know, NASCAR fans, um, you guys and other NASCAR fans, you know, not every NASCAR fan watches my channel. I'm not that important. I'm actually quite irrelevant. We all know this. I would say 70 to 80% are, are excited about the idea. The, the sticking point is what it's going to replace. And Adam Stern has already basically confirmed what it is going to replace. And again, we kind of already knew this, is that it's going to replace Road America. Now, this is where people get a little bit upset because uh, a lot of people like Road America. Road America has been doing pretty fairly well, ticket-wise, uh, in, in selling out their event. Uh, they only have one race date. And so you guys know me, I'm a big, big advocate of one race per venue. A lot of the tracks that have two... I wouldn't want them to have two, but then there's a sticky situation of you don't want to take one away from Daytona or Talladega, you don't want to take one away from Martinsville, so it's either that everybody has one, or some guys have two and some guys have one. Um, again, I, I would prefer one per every venue, and like at Daytona, you could do a road course, a Talladega, you, I don't know, because <laughs> you can't do a road course there. Uh, Martinsville, again, do I want to take a race date for Martinsville? No. So you, you got to be fair. You, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. I don't think in the future of NASCAR, you will ever see every circuit, every venue have only one race date. I just don't think it's going to happen, even though that's what I want. So the sticking point is they're taking the race date away from Road America. Road America only has one race date. So Road America won't be on the schedule next year, next year which is unfortunate now here's the positive side is they're not taking away an oval and going to a street race i think the right the number right now for road courses is really good so you take away a race date from a road course and you fill it in with essentially another road course but it's going to be a street race the problem is you know people didn't want road america to be gone and out of all the road courses 
you know, the, the people who are upset about it are saying, take a race date away from Kansas, take a race date away from, you know, uh, an oval track. But then you have other arguments of, well, then there's too many road courses in terms of the, uh, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The, is it the ratio? I always think a ratio is like ratioing someone on t Twitter now, but yeah, like the ratio between, uh, ovals and road courses. I, I think, you know, eight road courses would be too much, in my opinion. I think the balance right now is really good. So, okay, you replace a road course with a road course. But you're going to Chicago where there's a certain oval track that we all know of that isn't being used in Juliet, Illinois. That's Chicagoland. This is going to be an unpopular opinion. I want to say I'm a big fan of Chicagoland. I like the racing surface. And with the, old, with the next gen car, it'd be a really good race. Chicagoland got screwed because NASCAR went to a 550 horsepower package on a surface that does not work with a 550 horsepower package and then they bring the next gen car but don't go back to Chicagoland. So the last time we saw a Chicagoland race was with a package that doesn't fit that track. Now this car with the current package would make Chicagoland one of the best mile and a half races on the calendar. The issue is they want to enter the Chicago market but be in Chicago. Okay, they don't want to be in Juliet, Illinois, which is about 45 minutes away from downtown Chicago. Now, I get it, guys. I get it. It sounds like a stupid idea. Homestead, Miami is about 30 minutes away from downtown Miami. It's not near Miami. You have to go a little bit farther, maybe 15 minutes, actually, to get to Homestead, Miami. Homestead, Miami is in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so <laughs> it's like... You know, it's kind of like the same situation as, as Chicagoland. Well, why did NASCAR not take away a race date from Homestead and they took away one away from Chicagoland? Because I think the outrage would be even larger if uh, NASCAR took a race date away from Homestead, Miami. Here's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes, some sacrifices have to be made. I personally do not agree with not doing this street race and instead going back to Chicagoland. We know what Chicagoland is. It's very similar to Kansas. It's very similar to Las Vegas. It's very similar to Homestead, Miami. We have a lot of those types of circuits. We don't have a street race. It's something different. It's something new. It's something I think would be really unique. Again, for people who live in Juliet, Illinois, I have uh, shout out Jared, if you're watching this, uh, you know, for people who live in that market, who love that track and, and like visiting it, you know, it's unfortunate because I don't know what's going to happen to that facility. But NASCAR needs to enter these markets. I completely agree with what they're doing. They, they have to enter these big markets. They have to attract race fans who are in that 18 to 49 demographic. And one way to do that is going into the downtown area and having a street race. You, now, this is going to be a really cool event next year when it comes around. The issue right now is that everyone's really upset because they don't want the race date going away from Road America and they want Chicagoland to be back on the schedule. So there's a lot of backlash. And, and when people are upset, they're going to speak louder. Trust me, I've been upset before. I speak loud too. I get it. When the time comes around next, uh, next year, and I think a lot of you guys agree with this, no one is hating the idea of a street race. And when it comes around, I'm sure a lot of people are going to like it. If I have the chance or the opportunity, I'd love to actually, I've never been to Chicago. I would love to actually go to that race and see how the logistics of it work. What, what's the best viewing area if you're going to be racing in downtown Chicago like what how is the the fan experience going to be if you are in downtown Chicago it, it's just something that I find to be really interesting and how they're going to turn that area into a street circuit and bring NASCAR there and it's going to have a lot of uh you know uh coverage around the national media and it's going to be a real personally ratings wise it's going to do well it's going to be on uh, I, I don't know where they're going to put it in the schedule they'll probably announce that when the schedule gets announced but they will have that race most likely on the you know whether it be NBC or Fox, it won't be like on USA Network or FS1. It's not going to be that. It's going to be on the main local channel. It's going to, you know, they're going to really try to promote the hell out of that race, kind of like how they do at the LA Coliseum. The LA Coliseum was well-received. It was a well-received event, and they're doing it again next year. I think the same thing's going to happen next year with Chicago in the Chicago Street Race. It's going to be a very well-received event. It's going to be really good. It's going to sell really well. You're going to have a different... Uh, you know, a lot of different fans that show up that have maybe been watching Drive to Survive for Formula One. They're like, oh, there's a street race for NASCAR. Let's go check it out. Let's go learn something. Let's go see these stock cars, you know, and have some action. And they'll, then they'll they'll see the race and it's like, oh, wait a minute. These guys make contact. They beat and bang. There's rivalries, you know, uh, some rough racing going around. That, that'd be kind of cool. So I'm all on board for it. I'm all on board. But I, I want to, again, reiterate, I fully understand why a lot of you are upset. A lot of you disagree with the idea of taking away from Road America. Listen, 36 races is a lot. Like, you can't just keep adding stuff. You got to take some away. And again, I'm advocating 
for Daytona and Talladega and Darlington and Martinsville to get a race date taken away from them. If I, if I literally made a video right now and I said Martinsville deserves to lose a race date, you guys would unsubscribe and call me a dumbass, okay? Sometimes you gotta take race dates away from certain tracks and, you know, does Road America deserve it? No, but for the overall schedule, uh, you gotta take one away from a road course and you're not gonna do it to Sonoma and you're not gonna do it to Watkins Glen and you're not gonna do it to Coda. What can you do? Now there is one solution I did agree with. I, I, I you know, I, I don't wanna end the video without saying this. I want the Brickyard 400 back. Personally, that's my opinion. I think the next gen car would do well. That event doesn't sell well. It's not the Indy 500. We get it, the stands would be empty. But I think NASCAR, before they really lost their way with that Gen 6 car, they were building a really cool tradition at that Brickyard 400. A few things got an annoying. They they brought Xfinity cars to the Brickyard and then everyone was kissing the bricks and it got really annoying because kissing the bricks should be special. If you win an Xfinity race and like a plate package and then you get to kiss the bricks, that's not really cool. I don't like that. And then so many people complained because the car sucked and they couldn't get the right package and then they went to the Indianapolis road course. And the Indianapolis road course is still on the schedule. Now the one solution I would have definitely done is, you know, switch out the road course, go back to the oval because you have the car and you have the package to make that a, maybe not the best race of all time, you know, not even that great of a race, but it's still the Brickyard and you, everyone wants to win that race. That was a monument race before it really got screwed, basically. Um, it would come back. It would do really well. You get that oval, you knock one of the road courses on the schedule down, then you add the Chicago Street Course. The only issue with that is that it adds another race date. So you're just changing the Indianapolis road course to the Indy Oval, and then you add another race date. So even in that scenario, one race date still has to go because you're not going to extend the season by another race. So the, the people who say like, why didn't you take it away from the Indy road course? It's because Indy road course would just turn into a different race and it wouldn't actually, you know, it, it wouldn't, you know, it, it'd still be an extra race. Someone had to lose a date and it was Road America. And I'm still, this doesn't change my feelings on the Indy road course either. I don't want to watch the Indy road course. I think it's stupid. I think that you go to the Brickyard, it's NASCAR, you should race on the oval, especially now that you have the right package and the right car, it should race on the oval, 100%. I don't think they're going to change it for 2023, but for 2024, it needs to change. It has to change. They got to go back to the Oval and try to bring back that tradition, have that monument race uh, in the Mount Rushmore, the Daytona 500, the Brickyard 400, the Coca-Cola 600, and the Southern 500. Those are the four races you want to win, and to me, they, they should bring that back. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. It's a it, There's no clear-cut answer here. It's not. It's not like... This is the right answer to do, and this is what we should do, and, like, that's how you should do it. It's not like that, you know? Like, it, there's a lot of complicated factors in it, a lot of money involved in it, politics. and It's, you know, some people are going to end up being on the wrong side of things, and some people are going to end up being on the right side of things, and it's, it is what it is. But I have full trust and confidence in Steve Phelps and the leaders of NASCAR because I'm just very happy with what they're doing in terms of the schedule and some of the decisions that they've been making. So I'm not going to doubt them and I'm going to roll with their decisions. Like they have shown me that, uh, that I should trust them because the last like five, 10 decisions they've made, I've really been on board with all of them. Um, I love the racing right now. I think the product is amazing. So if they really want me to get on board, just change the championship format a little bit, then I'll be all on board. I got nothing else to complain about. But, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That was just my opinion. They'll have the press conference later to explain some things. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Again, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Subscribe if you're new. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if you agree or if I missed out on anything. Uh, I think we talked about basically everything, uh, solutions, options. So take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.